Hey. <laughs> Racism of today is a tool used by the government whose job is to govern. You can't get upset at a snake for being a snake. There's over 300 million Americans and only a few thousand people who make up the government. I try to tell you, what is a minority really if it can affect 300 million people? That's not a minority. So how much change do you think 46 million so-called black human beings could do if they put their minds to it? I try to get you to think. You see, you have racism because you have to divide this nation in order to govern it. It's a conqueror's mentality, I know. But look at what the thousands of people that make up the government are dealing with. A bunch of Americans who are hung up on color. 245 million people call themselves white. 45 million people call themselves as black. If you're the government, you gotta use this kind of stupidity to your advantage or you're a complete idiot. I mean, simply put, if I say black, I can potentially fuck with the emotions of 45 million people. That's why the media says, quote, a black man was killed by cops, end quote. When back in the day, when I was a kid, it was, quote, a man was killed today, and we just continued the news. See, you couldn't pull that kind of shit off if we all just identified as human versus a color. When the government wants to address 245 white Americans, they say white now, when before they would just say Americans. Wise people change with the times. The government, humans, have watched the trends and they have adjusted to trigger you. This is why many people in positions of influence have a psychology degree or a business degree of some sort. Marketing, for instance, which is just business psychology. Racism, it's a tool, a useful tool, and humans rarely throw away a good tool. That's why we still have hammers. At some point, you gotta say I'm not a fucking tool. But as long as y'all keep falling for this black and white lie, then governments will use it around the world. It's easy to govern even the smartest person once you know what their sensibilities are, what catches them emotionally. I'm not a kid anymore, but that Star Wars shit is spot on. Everyone on the dark side is controlled by anger and emotion. But the Jedi's know, I gotta control this shit or I'm a lightsaber the shit out of somebody. Everybody is going to therapy. Cool, but ask your therapist about how to control yourself. What breathing do you need to do? Control yourselves, damn it. I have said it time and time again in videos, these children need us. All I'm speaking is the truth. That's it. It's not a lie. But yes, I am pushing an agenda. The agenda is educate our children, all of them, not just the ones that don't have well-off parents. Educate the ones that do have well-off parents. Because if these children can learn humanism, empathy, add that with the fact that they may be financially well off one day, and now you're talking about a person who was raised to put their money to good use for everyone. Educate the children. You'll find that these children in need come in all colors. If you think that only so-called little black children are the poorest in this country, then you need to travel more. So-called whites use welfare the most. There's tons of white children who need education. Here's a quote, white people are the biggest beneficiaries of the government safety net. According to the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities, white people made up the largest share at 52% of people lifted from poverty by safety net programs, while black people made up less than a quarter of that share. When it comes to receiving Medicaid, white people make up about 43% of recipients, Hispanics about 30%, African Americans 18%, with 9% identified as other. There you go. So when they say, oh, all black people just want to be on welfare, Apparently, we have a harder time getting on it. <laughs> so, it is what it is, folks. Right now, there's immigrant children in cages who could sure use some help in 2021. This is the truth. But false racial narratives are being pushed because racism is a useful tool. Adults, most of us are set in our ways. I can't worry about us because the truth is that most of us are in our 40s and older in America and have lived our lives. Sure, we got more years to go, but we can't go back. But we can give this knowledge back to the children. We have major work to do. Again, my agenda is to have us, somewhat broken adults, who were programmed to be racial warriors against each other, Correctly program slash teach these children to know what they truly are human beings first foremost and last program them just like we were but without the mistakes <sighs> I cannot phrase this so that it resonates um I don't know okay 
Listen, uh, I've watched one of my children die. Uh, happened years ago. I said this in my video on death. From birth to life, a few breaths and he was gone. Just like that. You know, they say parents like me are part of a club that no one wants to ever join. And that shit is true. I am not the same guy I was. And uh, frankly, sometimes I feel like my life is a shade, like a dream. But I figured, hey, I'm supposed to be a bit fucked up about what happened. So I feel how I feel and I take each day as it comes. The point is I've gained the perspective perspective that I never had. I see a lot of things different, better, more important. Children, running, playing, being brutally honest, always having energy, happy, free from responsibility. But check this shit out. You know, these children would die for us. Seriously, one child would die to protect his own mother. One child, one child would believe any lie to save his mother. I could make an army of children, and those children would march through the rain, snow, even starvation if they believed that it would lead them back to their parents. That's the love that they have. It's simple. It's no gray areas. If your love is teaching them to believe that they're a color, then you're raising them as soldiers in a race war, and it's as simple as that. If you love them, don't let them grow up to be adults who have to break out of a box taught to them. Give these children the truth. They would die for us. We adults have a persona, a lie. It's black and white. We have to give it up, not bury it like it was ever something material. We got to realize it was never real. We know better, but you're scared to do better. If you're a so-called white person or so-called black person and you're scared and refuse to teach your child to identify as human, as a human being and to respect others and such, then congrats. All you are is a color and that's all you will ever want your children to be because you can be highly successful as a black and white person, no doubt, but there will always be a profound disconnect to anyone who isn't your color. Now you tell me I'm wrong because I know successful people and when they start trying to cross racial divides, they always start looking a little off. They always don't know how to act. That's what happens when you can't relate to human beings. You cannot do good for humanity by just choosing to save one ethnicity, one color, one gender. So. Am I black? No, words matter, and so does the truth. I'm human, and my color is rather brown. Dark, am I some sort of coon? <laughs> no. Please, coons are nothing but buffoons ass kisses and clowns. I acknowledge systemic racism and overt racism. I'll be the first person to point out the wrongs of Israel just like I would point out the wrongs of white America and black America. The very fact that I call out every injustice I can see makes me braver than most who just want to be liked. I'm like a therapist. They don't need you to like them. They just tell you your tendencies and how fucked up you are at times. I'm a 47 year old man and I'm saying this colorism boxing programming is a lie. It's stupid. It's nonsensical. It's it's not reality. And I like to live in reality. Reality is actually a pretty wondrous place, complete with a legitimate quantum physical world that shows us that we are wasting centuries of time doing some basic caveman shit versus tapping into major understanding that could change how we see reality and by extension each other. The ecosystem alone has made it evident that we work with one another better than against one another. So when people say that this is a simulation, this is partly what they mean. The way we are and the way we were, it was all built off of the dreams and aspirations of human beings with the support of other humans. From a savage nation all the way to what we have now, that's the only way you can affect an entire nation. Over 400 years of white and black and the racism that followed. That's fucking incredible when you think about it. Four centuries, this is a simulation that's run its course. Myself and others are just taking the necessary steps to end it and create a better one. Improved, if you will. We know we can do it because the logic is very evident and based off of universal principles. Simply put, it's the truth of change, a universal truth. You see, if something is quote unquote this, then with time and effort and willpower, it can be changed to that, something different. Fighting over a color and the so-called privileges of it, being black never got me free first class seats on an airplane. Chances are if you're white, it didn't happen for you either. You want to be frank? The truth is that in any capitalistic government, the only color that matters is green. If you're rich and 
famous, don't matter what color you are. Capitalism beats racism all day, every day. Again, Paul Mooney told no lies in any joke. There are societies that don't care about green paper money at all. So what's the price, the true value of a dollar other than what you place upon it? How many times do people with money have to tell you that money doesn't make you happy? This society can be entirely different. It's all written down with words, laws, just words though. And didn't I keep telling you words have tremendous power? In order to see inequality, I have to be on the side of human beings. Because once you pick any other side, all you see is that side. As a matter of fact, that side will make sure that all you see is their side. Nah, fuck that. I was never one for groups, it's not my soul, it's not my spirit, it's not the way I'm made, it's not how I was created. This entire series is called Dropping My Opinion because it's my point of view. You may learn something from what I've seen, the things I've experienced, the lessons taught to me by people I personally feel were great, but if you don't, then the truth is that you, the viewer, have been living without my voice and videos for a very long time. So continue on with your life, but it doesn't take away the fact that I may be saying something of merit. Content of character, not the color of their skin. The dream is about humanity, folks. It's not about skin color. Until you accept the truth, you're not really woke at all.